Too often, decisions about children and youth are made without their involvement, but no one understands your experiences better than you. Our Kids Network Research Manager, Liz Wells, is excited to be one of four communities chosen to help develop the survey that in future will be rolled out across the country to create a national index of child and youth well-being. So Halton was invited to participate in this research project in partnership with UNICEF Canada and the Canadian Index of Well-Being at the University of Waterloo and the Ontario Trillium Foundation. And it's really about reaching out to young people between the ages of nine to 18 to learn about their well being and how they're doing. And that's critically important um, right now, especially during COVID. But we have been facing a gap in really comprehensive local data about child and youth well being. So, this is an amazing opportunity for Halton not only to participate in a national research program, which we feel so proud to be doing, but to also hear from youth themselves about what life is like for them right now. So the survey um, you know, has a number of different domains that it's interested in measuring. So it's asking young people about their relationships and their connections with their friends, uh, with their family, uh, their experiences at school, uh, in the community, their perceptions around belonging and inclusion, um, and also, you know, of course, their mental health, which is a really key Thing right now during the pandemic, as well as their physical well-being. And of course, it does ask about some of their uh, risk behaviors, like if, you know, smoking or drug use and bullying and that kind of information as well. This survey is really about giving young people a voice. And there are over 76,000 young people between the ages of 9 to 18 in Halton. And our goal is to hear from as many of them as possible, all the way up from Acton, for example, all the way down to Southeast Oakville. We know that every community is unique and every youth is unique, so your voice is important. The last survey gathering information of this type was in 2012. The new six-week survey will launch tomorrow and will run until June 14th. Doing the survey and encouraging other young people to do the survey gives people a really uh, meaningful way to influence the program services and initiatives that are happening uh, for young people in their communities. So we already have, I think, over 40 different um, community agencies and partners who are supporting this project and are looking forward to receiving the new data. So that includes, you know, for example, the YMCA of Hamilton Burlington, uh, the Milton Community Resource Center, the Oakville Public Library, the Halton Regional Police Service. So we have so many different community partners who are incredibly excited. Children's Services, Public Health, they're all really large agencies down from really small agencies as well who are really excited to receive this information and hear from you about how we can better support them. You'll need a consent form before you participate. Check out our Halton Youth Impact Survey website at ourkidsnetwork.ca forward slash HYI survey to find consent forms in English, French, Arabic, Mandarin, Spanish, and Urdu. And once you're completing the survey, you have an opportunity to win one of 200 uh, Tim Hortons gift cards. And uh, if you're in high school, you actually have the opportunity to earn two volunteer hours. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.